Hey Valley Metal, welcome back to another math video with Mr. Dudley. Here we're going to be talking about the area of parallelograms. That's from the Twilight Zone. I'll have to do a trivia question on that one day. All right, here we go. Start off with something fun. What was the first CD ever pressed in the United States? Hmm. You won't know the name of it. How about this? What year was the first CD pressed in the United States? Within 10 years, I'll give you a 10-year window of time. It was be sometime between 1970 and 2000. All right, let's do this. Uh, the first official target for the day is 11.1a. I can find the error of a parallelogram. All right, let's start off. Are all of these parallelograms? And if so, which parallelogram is larger? Think about it. Well, I know you're probably going, eh, this one isn't a parallelogram. But actually, A is a parallelogram because a parallelogram is simply a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel sides. And this side is parallel to this side, and this side is parallel to this one. So rectangles are parallelograms. They happen to be special parallelograms called rectangles because they have right angles. All right, what is the area of these parallelograms? Well, the Easiest one is to figure out the rectangle because I can count the square. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But what's the area of this one? It's actually a trick question. They're all the same. Take a look. If I slide this little chunk of this triangle over, you'll see that it makes the exact same shape. Same thing here. I can slide this guy over, and I've got three rectangles with the exact same shape area. What does that tell us? That tells us that any rectangle or parallelogram, you can find the area by finding the base, 1, 2, 3, 4 of the base, and the height, 1, 2. Just like you do on this one, you do 4 times 2. We just had that lesson. Gives you an area of 8. This one here, you just find a line that shows you the height of it, which is 1, 2, and the base, 1, 2, 3, 4. Multiply base times height. It's a marek. All right, here we go. Let's get some words and formulas. Uh, officially, a quadrilateral with two sets of parallel sides. All of these are quadrilaterals, and they're all parallelograms because they both have, they all have two sets of parallel sides. Kind of looks goofy, but they do. Uh, the official formula for finding the area of a parallelogram is A equals BH. So, Here's a parallelogram. We've got the base and we've got the height. Let's apply the formula. So A equals BH. So A, the area equals the base, which is 8, times 5. So the area equals 40. And of course, that's in area, so it's centimeters squared. All right, I have some examples for you. Go ahead and try these guys. What is the area of this parallelogram? Go ahead and pause it and figure it out. Okie dokie. Let's see how you did. Well, there's our formula, area equals base times height. So the base is 4, height is 12. We have 48 inches. Did you remember to square it? Good. All right, let's move on to the next one. What is the area of this parallelogram? Go ahead and do it. I'll pause it. It's decimals. You can't multiply those in your head. All right, let's see how you did. All right, there's my formula again. Uh, 4.1 is the base times 1.2. So I had to go over on the side over here and I had to multiply those decimals out, which is a little bit harder than it is for you because I have to do it using my mouse. Uh, I ended up with a total of 492, which is going to be inches squared. 492 inches squared. Is there any problem with that answer? Yes, there is. It's not reasonable. You need to insert the decimal. You have one decimal here, one decimal here. So your answer is 4.92. All right? That's why a good idea, uh, a good habit to get in the idea of doing it is estimating. Well, I've got about 1 times about 4. So my estimate is about 4 inches squared. All right. Let's move this squared over. All right. You did good on that one. But I'm wondering if you remember to move the decimal. Okay, let's take a look at this next one. Find the area of this parallelogram. Okay, did I trick you? I threw some other stuff in. I put the base up on top here. You can find it there. 
I threw this little guy in. Oftentimes they do that just showing that this line is parallel to the base. And this thing over here, it's garbage. It's nothing. I just threw it in to confuse you to see if I could get somebody to say 80. I hope I did. All right. So area is base times height. So the base is 12. Height is 8. 96 centimeters squared. I hope you got that one right. All right. Here's kind of a fun one. Your turn. What is the area of Mr. Katzenmeyer's top chef hat? I'll pause it and see if you can figure it out. All right, let's see how we did with the Papa Cats. Well, base times height, base is 50, height is 20, 1,000 centimeters squared. He makes a mean pot of chili. All right, uh, here's a real world example. I'd like you to estimate a solution and then solve this one. So go ahead and read it and go for it. All right, let's see how you did here. Map shows a region of a state that is under a tornado morning. What is the area of this region? Well, 27.5, and the height of that parallelogram is 30.6. So it's about 20, mm, let's estimate this as about 30 times 30, because this is so close. So we got about 30 times 30, 3 times 3 is 9, two zeros. You got 900 miles squared. Um, let's find the exact area. Now we've got to go 27.5, get that exact measurement, times 30.6. Multiply it out, 841.5, if you did your math correct, and you remember to move your decimals. All right, very good. Don't forget, we have to add the label. The region is 841.5 square miles. Kind of a tough one, but it just shows you how these things are used in the real world. All right, let's get to the ticket to the show. Uh, find the area of these two parallelograms, and I'll pause for a second just so you can freeze the screen. Okay, have those ready. That will be your ticket to the show for tomorrow. All right. Back to the question. What was the first CD pressed in the United States? Survey says, well, it was born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. It was in 1984. It was a monster uh, CD or monster album, I still want to call it. The actual first CD ever produced uh, or pressed internationally was Billy Joel's 52nd Street in 1982. So we were a couple of behind that, a couple of years behind that. 